right, welcome to Dirty Jokers, the podcast with with all of us. There we go. Uh, we have a uh, Dirk and we have Trish, and it's going to be a great show. So thank you all for joining us tonight. It's so good to have you all here. Hello, everybody. How's everybody doing? Good, good, good. <laughs> Dirk, are you there? I'm here. Hi, okay. Dirk. Howdy, howdy. How are you? I'm doing terrific. Long time no see, man. I know. I think last time I seen you, I, I kind of beat you up a little bit, and I never got to apologize <laughs> for that. I'm like, sorry. Like every other man you know, right? I <laughs> I formally apologize right now. Do you accept my apology? Yeah, hey, I liked it. I like getting thrown around a little bit. <laughs> so you're on like a rag doll. You, yeah, I kind of figured you liked it because you were like, ooh, 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 but you never said stop. So, you know, that kind of just... Gave me the. Is, is that angle monitor? Is that uncomfortable for you? <laughs> well, thank you for exposing me. Um, it is uncomfortable. <laughs> it is. It is really uncomfortable. It's, it's a little tight too, so sometimes I have to kind of shake my leg a little bit. <laughs> Pause <it> sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it, it's it's pretty uncomfortable. But you know, thank you for letting the crowd know why uh, I have an ankle monitor on. Hey, we're fourth right on this show. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, why don't you go ahead and tell the story, uh, Max? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the story that I saw today was foreskin. Do you guys know anything about foreskin? Ooh, yes. I mean, I okay. don't have foreskin, but I've seen no, no, it. No, no, no. Well, okay, well, we've all at least heard of it, right? Yeah. Mm. Well, apparently it's been a big issue with people um you know going down there and 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 like let's say you have a pierced tongue and you're blowing somebody who has foreskin and gets caught up in there or they have Ouch. it pierced and then somehow you get your braces caught onto the piercings so i was going to ask i thought this would be fun to see if we had any callers out there who you know could relate to this so I was gonna, you know, offer anyone to call in, and we can discuss it. That sounds pretty painful. I, I would assume I would probably the guy would maybe just rip himself off of the girl if her piercing got stuck to his skin like that. But then again, I mean, honestly, I I haven't I have something to say about that. Um, for a woman or a male or you know, how anybody to get stuck to foreskin, I would assume if your mouth is down there, it, you wouldn't have any problems with it getting stuck to foreskin because the penis should already be erect if your mouth is down there which obviously s says that the penis is it's all laying there a little soft no. when a man is not circumcised his penis is right. a lot more sensitive right. um so if i mean if a man or a woman knows what they're doing sucking dick it's not going to stay soft but but a few seconds all right you want to go ahead let's and go ahead yeah. and I'm we're going to take our caller the biggest reason why I do not mess with men that have foreskin is because one time I got a piece stuck in my tooth and I pulled back and it ripped and he had to go get it stitched together. And he said that he was being assaulted and he tried to press charges with me. And I was like, no, it was an accident and it was a whole big ordeal. Oh, we are not friends on Facebook anymore. Let me tell you that. I've sucked a winky before. I can do it again. <laughs> Did I hear that right? Bad? Is that incest? What the fuck? I do. I like Rosie O'Donnell. Yeah, I think we lost the call here. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Can I, can I interrupt? I rudely. Yeah. Dirk, yeah. Go ahead. Dirk, you need to explain that because you said you like doing that. Yeah, Dirk, you, you let me replay what you just said. If, you know, if you'd like I me to. I would love Dirk. it. I've sucked a winky before. I can do it again. Okay. There we go. Now explain. Wow. Dirk, you better spread wide open Wait. like your legs, your heels are going to Jesus and explain what you just said. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I you got to do what you got. No, I don't want to hear that. Do I thought like you were into women because last time I seen you in person, you appeared to be into women. <laughs> So, uh, from my own personal experience, so are you? I didn't know you were into men too. I didn't know you had sucked dick before. I mean, to how me, do you... the more huh? to me, the more concerning thing is that I said I liked Rosie O'Donnell. I don't remember the, that at all. That sounds like some type of someone else, maybe. Did I really say that, Max? No, you really. That's did say that. pretty deep. Did you enjoy? Do you enjoy the taste of a penis? 
I bet no. I bet you're I bet what? you're one of those nasty ones where you put your tongue under the foreskin and lick the head before it comes out. Specific. Mm. Oh, we have a caller. Yay. Oh. God damn. <laughs> Took the spotlight off of you. We're gonna go back to that. <laughs> yeah, we are coming back to that. Yep. Uh, yep. Caller. Welcome. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing good. What about you? I'm great. Did you hear the topic on what we were talking about? He's our friend from the past. Remember? I remember him. All yes, right. I do. All right. So how are you guys doing today? We are doing amazingly well. Nice to hear that. Yes, we were talking about some foreskin. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, foreskin. Did you say you have that? Oh, <laughs> I, I got what you're trying to say. The foreskin and all, all that crap. That was good. Any experiences you want to share with us, buddy? Well, I have a lot of experience I can share, but you know what? Currently, I'm in office right now, so that will be a really uh, not comfortable in the office locations, right? Because I'm in the office right now. Okay, so just can I, can I ask you one question? You, all you got to do is say yes or no. So go ahead. Do you like putting your mouth on foreskin? No. First of all, I'm straight, so I don't like that thing. <laughs> your office kind of sounds like a party. Yeah, it's uh, like uh, music uh, music's is going on like all the time. The music is on. Like a strip club so, type thing? You got naked yeah, ass running it's around? It's not a strip club. I could have sworn I heard some ass clapping in the background. No, there's a continuous music going on and we are doing sales over here. Oh. We are selling uh, travel packages. Did you say travel uh, dildo packages? Not dildo packages, just travel packages. <laughs> <laughs> for tourism purpose, not for sex purpose. Did you say monthly sex ser services? Uh, no, I'm sorry. We don't offer that kind of services. We just deal with... Uh, Hotels and tourism, not with uh, dildo sex toys. You should start off those types and, of services. You know. I'd get in on that. Yeah, we like tour services, like like different types of tours. Uh, like tours and like for... I didn't get that. What kind of tours exactly you like? Dirk, you want to fill them in? Maybe nude beaches and sex clubs and places where you could bang an old lady. All right, so then come to Goa. Go is a beautiful place with tropical islands, lot of beaches, white sands, an awesome experience in the month of December from 24th till 5th January. Do they have old you can get ladies? lots of nude beaches. Yeah, you can get old ladies. Do they have old ladies young that ladies. like to give it up like Trish? Yeah, there are a lot of ladies just like Trish. And here, most of the girls are like horny in the month of December. Hey, if you give Trish a free trip, I think it would attract other people. Really, it would. A lot of people, they want to come home with me to over here where we're from. No respectable types, but still, even disrespectable types have money. Right? Yeah, the slobby pig ones. <laughs> Is our caller there? Yeah, I'm there. Is that Goa? Is that in India? Correct. Goa. India. Trish, you want to go to India? Goa to India? Like, Goa is a small state in India. And Goa is, full, Goa is filled with lots of tourists. Goa is a super awesome place, man. You should, you should must visit Goa. So where can we sign up at, buddy? I'm excited. I'm starting to pack my bags already. First of all, you need to book a Her ticket. Lips are hard. Okay, where do I book a ticket? Wow. Well, you can use any of the flight uh, managing services like uh, anyone, make my trip. Is there a website we can go to do that? If there is a website, yeah. You can go to make my trip. All right, we'll definitely check that out. Thank you so much for calling in. It's my pleasure, yeah. You have a good rest of the night, sir. You do the same. Have a good one. You too, bye-bye. 
Well, for one, we were talking about foreskin, and somehow we got marketed into trying to someone trying to send us to goddamn Egypt or some shit. I don't know. Uh, you want to go ahead and re-announce what we're talking about so our new call, our new uh, listeners can hear you? Yeah, yeah, we're talking about foreskin. <laughs> and we just had a caller who called in. I guess we can re. I think I have a taping of it. We can replay the caller. If yes. you guys want. <laughs> Please do, especially at the end. All right, it looks like we have a caller. The biggest reason why I do not mess with men that have foreskin is because one time I got a piece stuck in my tooth and I pulled back and it ripped and he had to go get it stitched together. And he said that he was being assaulted and he tried to press charges with me. And I was like, no, it was an accident and it was a whole big ordeal. Oh, we are not friends on Facebook anymore. Let me tell you that. I've sucked a winky before. I can do it again. It's your stepdad, is that incest? I do. I like Rosie O'Donnell. I've sucked a winky before. I can do it again. This is Dirk from the Dirty Jokers, and you're listening. I've sucked a winky before. I can do it again. I've sucked a winky before. I can do it again. <laughs> I guess I'm the new Jay. <laughs> you're over here sucking dicks and shit. I didn't know that. I mean, you have pretty nice lips. I didn't know that they were sucking foreskin. Shit. I better go get a test done because I don't want to catch anything that's deadly. <laughs> that's great. Oh, that's funny. I, I think I should reconsider our friendship. <laughs> so, do you, do you guys remember the... Uh, I was going through and so, well, somebody asked, what is the worst call we've ever had? And I think I came across Let's hear it. Hello. Well, hello. Hello. This lady. Welcome you, to Dirty Jokers. You're being extremely rude. Hello. Ooh. Ooh. Hello. hello. We can hear you. Hello. Do you hear me or not? You yes. are Kristen. Yes. Is your name Kristen? Yes. My name is Kristen. Kristen Hi. the Friday. You know, Thanks for calling. Hi, yeah. Kristen. Do you guys ever come up with any new content? I mean, anything that's original, anything that's not like, you know, I walk off. Uh, Sexual? No. Any, well, you know, it's really hard to come up with anything new sexually, but you know what? If anybody was going to, it's not going to be your panel because oh, I wow. haven't heard anything. Anything I mean, new or original. Dang. Still hey, someone sounds a little bitter. I know. Yeah, Trish. I, I Trish. To us hey, Trish. Trish, get a new pair of glasses, okay? Hey, stop being so bitter about life. Oh, talk to me oh, about that. Hey, Kristen, you Kristen, know what? tell us, uh, tell us you a know sex what? story. I, you tell know what? I've got how many followers? How many do you all have? Oh. Okay, Christine and that was when bitty, I was bitty. only back in the day when Podbean was oh, here better. Oh, go with the back in the day. Yeah, I'm talking That's about people still on wanted Podbean. To I'm talking about on Podbean. There was what, some back in 1965? true entertainment. Yeah, the last six months. Something? Last six months, okay? Now, there's a lot of people left Podbean. Have you noticed or not? Probably not no. because you never really had any listeners to begin with. But oh, there were a lot of people on seventy-eight shows. Why, why are you listening? Why are you commenting yeah, if you're yeah, just a bitch? So if you don't like it, then don't listen. You know listen. what? I, I'm getting you all riled up, aren't I? Oh, okay. So oh yeah, I am. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm getting you all. Here, we, oh, we listen to him. Getting we're them all just like riled a troll. up. Getting you all riled up. So you didn't uh, care about what I'm saying. You don't care about what I think, but I hear one, every one of you, I hear every one of you chiming in. (laughs) So don't tell me you you don't care about what I think. No. Oh, God. Are you a Biden (laughs) supporter? She's a Biden supporter. You know what? I'll tell you what. I hadn't been on for months. And then I, Biden, <laughs> whatever. Oh, good, because we're not. I'm not either. Oh, thank okay. you. Okay. You, you don't even know place. me. You, you don't yes, even know beautiful. me. Beautiful. But I've You're had a that. lot of fun on Podbean, but with you people, uh-uh. 
And you're well, right. Now Why am I people. listening? Why, Why am I people? listening? Why you, you, people? you four people on this pod. Okay. I'm done. See Bye, ya. Karen. Good night. Okay. Bye. 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 You know what's funny? She actually, you know that thing on YouTube where they say she's being a Karen? She's really uh, a Karen. That's she really is. She must Never be the original Karen. It. She's a Karen. Like, she why probably, was she listening for so long if it's so terrible? It's so she, weird. Probably, she probably found her man sucking another man's penis. And Dude, just did really you hear her? She hasn't had a man since the 80s. She had to True. take it out on someone, poor so she thing. picked us. Yeah. What a poor, poor soul. Hey, Jed. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, if they told you if you suck at this guy's dick, it'll save your mom's life. Oh. Um, Does that mean your mom's gonna live forever? <laughs> I guess. Uh, how much does a funeral cost? That's the real question. Look what you did, you little jerks! Is what I'd say to you if you were listening to the Dirty Jokers right now. Listen to the Dirty Jokers. Look what you did, you little jerks! Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. We really appreciate you joining us. This podcast really shows us how we can all learn, live, and thrive off of each other. By sharing our knowledge through our conversations, we will impart some knowledge whilst learning ourselves how to progress even further. Here is your host. Welcome to our school's podcast. Here we're going to show you how teachers... Parents and pupils can share advice, tips, and know-how to bring the best out of all of us. Learning is a joint experience, and through our series of interviews, we can all learn more and achieve even greater things. Here is this week's host. Okay, so we just, uh, what did you guys think of that angry phone call? Yeah, she was a bitter lady. Old bitter, old bitter bag. I really thought Trish was going to whoop her ass there in the very beginning. She's lucky she's from Hillbillyville. Otherwise, I would have went and socked her in the fucking throat. I have to say one thing, though. Um, like She seemed like she called up just to piss us off, and I yeah. called her a naughty word, and I feel like she sort of got what she wanted, which I sort of regret in retrospect. Yeah, she wanted to get, she wanted to get us all worked up like we were going to get mad so she can get a thrill off of it. Right. Because nobody's putting it in her. Yep. She probably hasn't had D in a long time. She probably just sits at home with her old ass wrinkly fingers rubbing some catcher's mitt pussy. Jed wouldn't even bang her. No. Honestly, I think he would bang anything, even if it wasn't a lie. <laughs> That's how he's going to lose his virginity. He's going to get a job at a mortuary. I wonder what he's, what he's fucking tonight. He's probably boning his pillow. Or his bed. Do you, or his do you remember that that uh, I forget if it was a vibrator or a dildo. Do you remember he sent us a picture, Trish, of the yes, purple that thing? purple thing? It looked all beat up and used. He lost it. It's a vibrator. It feels good. Body goes. Oh man, I want that. But yeah, my pussy gets sore sometimes. All right, can you yeah. lose something that big? That's like losing a car. They probably got stuck way up in his ass. But I mean, don't you think that'd be painful? <laughs> He probably kept just digging it in, digging it in. I would think it would be uncomfortable, like, having a... Maybe he enjoyed it. Maybe that means he can no longer poop or something. He probably just shits it out and then puts it back in after a nasty ass. Oh, jeez. He would put it in his butt, then he would put it in... He'd yeah, hey, I wonder if all Canadian guys are like that. They probably are, huh? <laughs> well, he's from a particularly... Uh small rural yeah i don't think it's that small but uh yeah he's from well, it's lady. big enough for his mom to hump somebody and get pregnant with his weird ass yeah i think so do you do you have it we can listen to it yeah i, I have it somewhere let's see hold on yeah so basically uh, jed's mom uh jed's dad passed away and then his mom married a cousin that's kind of how that happened no oh, it's deeper than that the the one she married her cousin cousin died jed's dad and then she married that guy's brother so she married cousins and then brothers basically oh i have the recording right here if you keep the last name wasn't it yeah to bell and 
All right, I have the recording right here, if you guys want to hear it. Sure. I've sucked a winky oh, before. Oh, 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 that's jacked up. <laughs> <laughs> Dirk, you know what? I would beat his little pink cheeks for that one. Just beat his ass. Hit him with a stick. So what if I sucked a winky? <laughs> <laughs> your mama's fine. Yep, yeah, your mama's, mama's fine. I would have phoned her down anytime. I would have sucked your mama's ass. And she likes I, booty play too. I um, oh. married my dad's brother. Oh my god. <laughs> So no. <laughs> but listen, so that means so, she doesn't have to change her last name. So your mom married her cousin, <laughs> then she married a, her, your, another cousin? So my mom's last name, her, her maiden name was DeBellenhart, so she married a Z. No, no, that's not the important part of that's this. Just listen. Yeah. You're right. I'm trying to tell you something here. Okay, okay, okay. She was a DeBellenhart, mm -hmm. then she married a Zemer, my dad, and then my dad died. And she married my dad's brother, which is another Zemer. She, so she didn't have to change her last name. So your uncle is your stepdad. Yeah, you could, you could say that. And his wow, email is to you. How they go that? They go, uncle, uncle stepdad. No, doesn't sound you right. Call, you call him uncle stepdad. <laughs> yeah, uncle stepdad. That's, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Here it is. Uncle stepdad cousin or something like something said one time to me like I'm like what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, hey, I'm going to hang out with my uncle stepdad. Hey Jed, hey Jed, can yeah. I ask you a question? How does your mom? I've never seen a, uh, anyone in my life take a hot dog the way your mom does. Because mm -hmm. in this in this video, Jed, she has a. Uh, Yes, you got two wieners in the vagina and one in her mouth. That's not her, you push pick. She also got one in her ass. It's not Amazing. Her. That's not her. Hey, that is that's not her. So your mom is exclusively attracted to her relatives then, right? So we can't get her. Well, that's true. Unless we were a Zemer. Yeah. Well, we could be a Zemer. We've not. Have we looked into our history? No, we hey. haven't. Hey. I think it'd be cool to be a Zemer. So, yeah. Just like Jed. Jed's so cool. You could, you could time bang out. your cousin. Time out. Time out. I said time out. Oh, thank you. Okay. It's time to get dirty, like a homeless guy that hasn't showered in a month and smells like you'd think Jed would smell like. You're listening to the Dirty Joke. Incest is best. Oh, what yeah. a sweet little elf. I, you know, I don't know what the just... fuck? It, get all over my ass about being dirty <laughs> and being not good on the naughty list. And then the, the, she's going to turn around and be like, oh, Derek, we should get naughty together. What the fuck? You need to be on the gosh damn fucking naughty list, you dirty little elf. She got all over your ass, and I'm going to get all over her ass. <laughs> yeah. Like, really? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, this kid. Right here. You're listening to the Late Night Show. With Ron, Dirk, and Scott. Only a podcast. Hey, Ron and Scott Show. It's Two. Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton here. I, um, I'm just Hi, calling Bill. because I listened to the Ron and Scott Show earlier, and I got something to say. Okay. I heard that Ron wants to buy used panties. <laughs> I got a deal uh, you for too, you, Bill. I got a deal for you. I oh, God. I you Hillary Clinton's panties that she wore just oh. yesterday. <laughs> I can get them. No. I'll ship them to you for free since you're into that I... kind of thing. Oh, uh, no, yeah. I appreciate that, it, Bill, but... Say, Ron, don't... No. Now, listen, Ron, I know you're like, no, no, no but hear me out for a minute, Ron. No. Hillary oh. Clinton's panties. They are, uh... Well, I think a skunk's asshole smells better than these panties, I gotta tell you. Oh, God. I gotta tell you, they're, they're pretty raunchy. But if you're into it, you know, I'll send them to you. 
You know, no. who wouldn't make a really good panties, though? Who wouldn't sell who? no panties? Nancy Pelosi. That's who. <laughs> who wouldn't That's sell true. a panty? No panties from her, I gotta tell you. Am I right, Ron? Am I right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I got Candy King coming over later, by the way. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Candy King's coming over, and uh, we're gonna play a couple of games. Last time she was here, we played Plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes we play White Duh. House, where she's laying in the bed, and I turn out the lights. Uh huh. So after she yells that out, I just tell her, she yells out, "Who who is it?" And I say, "It's your daddy. It's Bill Glidden." And then we have some sex. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're on Scott Show one time. Candy Gay and I were having sex, and I pretended Jeez. I was Barack Obama. Oh, oh. Boy, uh, Barack Obama. Uh, what do you do yeah. without? All right, the I got to go. And Hillary's oh, walking in the door now. All right, Bill. Oh. Bye-bye. Talk to you later. Bye, Bill. Oh, that's always fun to hear from Bill. Hmm. Hello? Hello, Hillary Clinton. Oh, God. Does Bill call you on a regular? Uh, no. no. No, Hillary. Sometimes email. You give me a little respect. I was Secretary of State. Oh, no, God. Stop. I need to know what my husband's been up to. Hey, baby, what you doing in there? Uh, Hillary, I asked you, please, Hillary, this is my business, my business and my business only. What? Well, I'm just trying to see if you're sucking anyone else's dick behind my back. Oh, baby, oh. you're the only, uh, you're the only one that sucks his dick. I gotta tell you, you're the only one that sucks his dick. <laughs> I'll hang up this phone and eat dinner. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Sorry, Ron and Scott Show, I gotta go. Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. Welcome, Welcome to our school's podcast. Here we're going to show you how teachers, parents, and pupils can share advice, tips, and know-how <laughs> to bring the best out of all of us. Learning is a joint experience. And through our series of interviews, we can all learn more and achieve even greater things. Here is this week's host. All right, and welcome back to Dirty Jokers with Trish, myself, Max, and Dirk. I've sucked a oh, wiki before. I, got, I can do it again. It. I hit the wrong button. My bad. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. You're fucked up. <laughs> You're a filthy ass dog. Dirk, you know what? Oh, I, have a, I have a feeling he much. meant to hit I was like, wait, what, what, what did I miss? I just heard, sorry, I'm really coming hey, in here. Hey, Jolly. No way. Fucking jolly. Is that you? Uh, who, me? Inspire? Yes. Mm, Jolie? No, I'm not Jolie. My name's okay, Alec. He, he must be a new caller. Okay. How okay. you doing? How Welcome to you? Dirty Jokers. Okay. Okay. Well, you want to hear Hell Dirty yes. Jokers? Yes, I do. It's between my legs, but you can't see it. Are you nasty? <laughs> 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 Uh, let's see, let's man. see. Uh, yeah, like uh, I, I do. Uh, I don't know if any of y'all own like the Oculus or the Quest to the and go to the comedy club. Yes, I have that. So far, I'm I'm pretty good. I get kicked yeah. out a lot. Yeah, like I, I'm, I'm number, I'm number seven on there. I get kicked like, out. Like rank number much. seven. Oh, uh, you get by the mod gods. <laughs> uh, yeah, they throw me out because I go in there and talk shit and tell them that their their rooms are boring and they throw me out. Or I'll cuss at people, or you know how you can swing and throw stuff at people? Yeah, and you use, like, racial slurs, like, in the hard R or something like that. Then, yeah, yeah. they'll be like, okay, we give you no chances. You got to go. Yeah, I think last time I was on there, I was calling them, like, man fuckers and, you know, dog fuckers. I think I might have seen you. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember my name on there. I can do oh, mine, yeah. uh, mine is Venom 1170. That's a lot for me to remember. Venom. Well, just I remember Venom. Yeah. Venom. Venom. Dude, I'm gonna get on Oculus tonight, dude. I haven't been on it in in honestly a few months. But when they first came out with that room, what, what is it called again? I forgot the big uh, comedy club soapstone. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I was on it like forever. I think I yeah, have I did like, like it. It just you go meet new people, then y'all jump into different worlds, and y'all just yeah. joking each other, ragging each other. Hey. But there's a lot of kids yeah. that go in there. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. They, if they want to be a kid and go to grown folks stuff, then they they might as well take it. I don't care because yeah, they'll take it up the rear end or something. They better. Yeah, 
I think I have like, a, I have glasses on. I do have like a yellow shirt on. I'm going to write your name, but I'm going to get on Oculus tonight and, and look for you. I usually go on the uh, the theaters where you can watch movies and stuff. Oh, like Netflix and stuff? Uh, oh, no, you mean like the, the big screen or big screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big screen. You can watch 3D movies. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of foreigners. I've met a lot of people from like other countries and stuff. I, I go and uh, I play like laser tag and I go and play uh, like... Uh, horror games like a, there's a nightmare on m street horror game in there they come out some new shit i need to get on oh man I, oculus is badass i could sit on that all day if i could but uh yeah if the charger would let you <laughs> yeah and or your control chargers because like man last time dude i was just running in circles because my right controller kept dying so i couldn't do nothing i was like i'm just oh, running around in circles <laughs> you gotta have some backup batteries i think that's why i think that why i started stocking up on batteries but, oh yeah yeah oh um, you think that's why hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's just say that for now <laughs> it was triple a not double d hmm. oh there was tri it was the it was the seas it's a vibrator <laughs> it feels good Vibrate. oh man i want yeah that. yeah let me let me write down your 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 screen name and i'll, I'll get on and uh I'll, I'll yeah, I got I got mine here, but uh, I forgot my uh, my right controller. But I still have my left one, so I can still move around. So I'll just hop I'll hop in the Horizon venues like, and uh, Venom, that's like, like Spider Man and Venom. An yeah, that's like walking around without an arm. How do you forget one controller? Uh, just like I forgot my left ball sack the next time I came so, to my exes. You know, it's because you're a fucking dude. Dudes are you know dudes are not as smart as women because we're we're, we're, uh, we're, 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 we're so women are We're less dramatic too. <laughs> oh, you motherfuckers are dramatic. You get a little cold and you're laying in the bed like you're dying, giving you saying last words and shit. Yeah, because we're tired. <laughs> of what? Being being dumb. Okay, venom. No, being... it takes a lot of out of our heart to get all that blood right down there. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. That's nasty. <laughs> It's yeah, the, dirty jokes, man. Dirty jokes. You got to make them laugh. Got to make them laugh. Me, Keep it in the tell, past. <laughs> tell me your, your screen name. V-N-O-M? V-E-N-O-M. Like and venom. Then, like like poison. Like yeah, like venom. a fucking snake. And then what was the rest of it? 1170. So you're pretty old. You are born in 70? Oh, no, no, no. It's just that's a number <laughs> I made up as a passcode a long time ago. And yeah. it just stuck with me for like fucking like 10 years. Oh, I'm, I'm 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 a dirty Juan, so I'm thirty Juan years old. Thirty Juan, are you from? Uh, are yeah. You from, are you from the states? Or are you from over the border? Are you by the? No, you no, no. Mi familia aquí para aquí, pero yo estoy de aquí de Texas. So oh, you puedo hablar Mexican. español y todo. So si yo Mexican, Mexican Americans don't like to get up early in the morning, but oh, we have to. Real slow. Real slow. <laughs> and we got the chatas and chonas and chinas. And have a son-in-law named Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie, by the way. Meaners. Meaners. Up in smoke. Yeah. That's where my love is. Everyone's saying. <laughs> yes, yeah, let's go. Let's get our lighters and our pipes. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's, let's dedicate these to inspire. Hold on, let me, let me find my old man corn cob pipe. Don't be start crying and shit, okay? Like fucking Mexicans doing their singing sad shit. So songs. Choke. <laughs> Smoke. <coughs> <laughs> there, you're gonna hear my torch because I don't got a regular lighter. Oh shit! You shouldn't have a torch. You smoking dope? No, it's just it, it dude. It's uh, less wind resistant. No, you don't just buy torches for nothing. I've never bought a torch in my life. Hey, it's refillable, unlike the but the bix. Are you are you trying to light your your nose hairs on fire or your eyebrows off? Uh, I've been on both part of that end. Oh. <laughs> So, yeah. And, and I, I burned off part of my mohawk one time. I forgot I had hairspray. I put a Michael Jackson with the Pepsi commercial. <laughs> so, you sound real young and, and like. Uh, I know, I know, but I'm, I'm young at heart. But I look. And you say oh, you're actually, no, I, I look young. I look young too. I still get carded. So hopefully, when I'm fifty, I still get carded. They probably card you because you're Mexican. 
Oh, uh, well, I got my green card too, so that's cool. Oh, he's on my visas right here, even though it's expired. <laughs> like, like, wait, what? Why is he asking me if I have a Nintendo? No, I have one, sir. Xbox One, no Nintendo, no Nintendo. One, Xbox One. <laughs> a one plus one, that's like a one on one basketball game between two Mexicans, Juan and Juan. Juan and Juan, por favor. Either that or it's a gay porno. One on one. One on one. I, you know, I've never seen a Mexican porno before in my life. Now I'm going to look at I've seen Hispanic porn. I'm going to say, you know, Mexican porn. But yeah, I've well, seen some where like. But there's a difference uh, between sex between Mexican and then you, you know, you got your, you know, paisitas, paisitos. Latinas. And you know, there's difference in the sex. Because the, the, the difference is that. The, the the Mexican Mexicans is like they're nasty motherfuckers. Like they want. Oh yeah, they'll they'll like they'll ass. like. They, yeah, they'll. Hey, I eat ass. Hey, what are you talking about? No, no, no. I mean, like they like it, like smelling like shit. Like you take a shit. Oh and no, no, no. no. Like I, I give it. A, I give. I give the ass a pass, even though they've been eating corn. I'll be like, oh, you've been eating corn, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I gotta suck my teeth. I got a kernel on my kernel. Yeah, you guys put your your tongue all the way in the asshole and found out what the girl ate two weeks ago. Yeah, then, I could t- I could taste that, what she had when she was a baby. And then that, <laughs> after that, you guys were like, "Hey, Buka, you belong hey. to your property. You hear that, girl? You're my property." And then, then if they get you pregnant, you're fucked. Yeah, and then she tries to get me for chats where I'm like, I like her chat, so hard chat the fuck up. You no, know, you're like, I don't, I don't have a job, so I'm not gonna work. So you're not gonna get shit, bitch. <laughs> you ain't gonna get bitch. I'm gonna get the child support. <laughs> you ain't gonna get shit, bitch. I ain't gonna get cheap, bitch. Focus on food stamps. It's, it's a bueno pay later. Todos, todos los lados, todos los, las muchachas, si está grande, está grande, pero si no, te es, pues, dale. <laughs> Ugh, you're cochino, nasty. Now yeah, we have, sí, yo soy have, cochino, mucho, mucho, mucho. We have Dirk and Max here. They don't, I don't think they speak a lick of Espanol. So why don't you Espanol. Why don't you translate? Espanol sounds like you're gonna say Spaniard, but I know you meant Espanol. Eh, no, I said Espanol on purpose, like you know, just be. Yeah, the sound. Uh, yeah, the sound well. <laughs> so Dirk and uh, Max, are they there? Max, yes, they're there. No Nintendos. No Nintendo. <laughs> I don't think they understand. No Nintendo way. <laughs> Habla me en inglés. Están en America way. Están en America. <laughs> So where, nope, where are you yeah. from, Inspire? Uh, I'm from here in the Rio Grande Valley. Puro 956, Ala oh, Verga. Uh, you already told me in Texas. Oh, okay, nice. You ever been to California? Uh, Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, I've been there in Orange County. Orange County? Like, I bet you were in jail in Orange County. I no, think. no, I was about to say <laughs> that. Like, I bet you didn't think I was in jail. <laughs> You were you got locked up. That's why you you you're, I went to, I went in there on vacation and came out on. Hey, that was the only time I felt black because they got me locked up. They won't let me out. <laughs> <locked up. laughs> no, that's fucked up. I felt like Jay Quan or what is whatever his name is that singer. They see me or what? How? Oh, who's who is the one that sings that song? Fuck, I don't remember. Is it is it a uh, White Cliff or no? It's T Pain. I listen to. I don't really listen to I listen to a lot no. of country oh. and I listen to some Spanish. I like uh some over the border. Maybe oh, so, you know, La Bamba. No. La Bamba La La Bamba. <laughs> la Bamba La Richie. No, what about me? me? You don't give a fuck about me. Yeah, what about <laughs> me? What about me? Fucking Richie. <laughs> oh, man. May they both rest in peace. Because, man, yeah. dude, that's crazy. He was young and he was barely going to start and he he lost his life over a coin toss. Damn it, buddy, Ollie. I know, right? Isn't that suck? And he just, he could have been, he could have, like, he, 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 he lost his whole entire life. He was so young. Yeah, and he was already coming up just by La Bamba and like all this other stuff. Yo, man, and we belong well, to he, get got he got treated like shit because he was a poor Mexican. And, and he yeah, out. they had to change his name from Valen, Valen, uh, Valenzuela because white people, yeah. 
So it became, uh, instead of Ricardo Valenzuela, it became Richie Valens. Valens. And then he's like, man, that was our dad's last name, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that, that was our dad's last name. <laughs> Fuck, you can't fucking change that shit. <laughs> Oh God! What did you see? Damn what it, you Bobby! <laughs> a paleta? What's a paleta? Uh, paleta means like stick. Why would it be a stick, fool? Paleta, yeah, or paleta or ice cream. <laughs> oh, why am I ice cream? I guess Dirk knows Spanish. He's like oh, a good, okay. He's a, He looks like, like he's palo. Black. Palo means stick, so paleta would be like you know to get part of the part of the cake stick. or get get like part of the get part of the good stuff. Yeah. Like, hey, you can have a poquito de la palqueta, you know? So, like, I want a little bit of the good stuff, too, man. Like, shit, like, throw me some shit. Hey, yo quiero algo, güey. Like, I want something, man. <laughs> hey, do you yeah. always get on Podbean? Ay, muy papi. Ay, muy fácil. Ah, mira que joto. <laughs> You're gay? You're faggot? No, okay. no, no. Yo uso las muchachas. Okay. Yo uso la, la so pachona. I was gonna say yeah, shit. no hoto, yeah, but like no, I'm saying like no, you're not so hoto. <laughs> so, I'm not, so, I'm not gay. So I don't do like men. Get, so do you get on uh, Podbean often? Uh, I barely got back on it. Like it's been a good like year or so, but I got back on it because I now I built my own studio. Oh. So like I, I'm gonna, I already have my my podcasting. Uh, what do you cover it? Like setup, like my monitor, my tower, okay. my. The, the one, the little mic with the blowback thing, like the one, the little pop guard. Yeah. So, like, I can start doing all that and start YouTubing, whatever, because I ain't here for a long time. I'm just here for a good time. Okay. Well, you should you should come around, like, uh, and hang out with us more often. You're a pretty cool dude. I appreciate that. Yeah, you're... you're yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, I'm going to start making my own podcast, but uh, I, I forgot, like, how many followers or whatever you need to start going live yourself. Um, I don't think you need any. You just start it, and then you grow it from there. Like, start inviting people. Okay. Like, well, uh, I'm going to call it... Uh, uh, keep a lookout on it. Like, uh, once I check it more into it, it's going to be called Body Bag Podcast. Body Bag? Like, common spelling? Body Bag? Yeah, like Body oh. Bag, B-O-D-Y-B-A-G, okay. Body Bag Podcast. So, because okay. you know, you could come in, you could come in and talk about anything. Oh. It's just like a body bag, one size fits all. Oh shit! I want to go. Then, like, hey, if you come in here, you joke <laughs> around, if you're killing it, it's a good thing we got yeah. some body bags over here in the back. I want to go the one size fits all because uh, that'd be really cool. Yeah, that's why I want to call it body bag. Like, you know, and then I like the little line at the end. I just said, mm-hmm. uh, I was like, yeah. So that way, if you come in, you're joking around, you're killing it. It's a good thing we have body bags in the back. There wow. we go. Is that is that our famous Max? Yes. Awesome. And you know I what? I love I love uh, both movies you guys were talking about. By the way. Yes, I know. You know what, you I guys? Really it's a, those are awesome movies. The other day, yeah, I got to tell you, joke real quick. Uh, something happened. I was with my mom the other day, and she said, "No, oh, you know they're not going to let us do it." Or we were, I don't forgot what we were doing, and someone told us no. Or it was something we were dealing with with our family, and I we got in the car and drove. I said, "They don't know who they're dealing with." My I don't know my life. Like, Listen, fuck this, like fuck it. no. <laughs> he started laughing. We laughed for the longest time because I was like, is she going to catch it? She usually does, but it's been so long since we watched it. So we laughed for the longest time about that. You know, the La Bamba part where the mom gets mad and she slams the door and she's like, they don't know who they're dealing with. They don't know who the fuck they're <laughs> dealing with. <laughs> the mom, the Richie Valens mom, like, they don't, they don't know who the hell they're dealing with. Uh-uh, yeah. not my Richie. Not my yeah. Richie. Yeah. <laughs> uh there's yeah. one part the the uh, even though i know it's not by them but like method man and red man uh how high oh yeah, yeah when yeah, he I wakes him up when he wakes him up with the with the blunt like do do host yeah he, can, <laughs> he hey, starts hey, waking hey, up because he hey, smells hey, it. he's hey, like what hey, what hey, blunt hey, blunt hey, weed hey, weed blunt hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. yeah he's just like doom 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 do host doom 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 too hot. He's like, I'd like to introduce you to my future ex-wife. <laughs> <laughs> and then I, I like the part when he's like, uh, like they smoke the ivory, smoke the ivory, and his homeboy is like, whoa, dude, you're a fucking ghost, man. He's like, man, I must be that fucking high. Maybe I'm a ghost too. He's like, he's like right outside the car. I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost, 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 ghost. And he tries to put his hand like, ow, man, I must not be high enough. He's a ghost, man. Man, I'm here trying to put my hand through a trunk and shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got good movies, man. Those are some good ass yeah. movies I haven't seen for a while. 
Harrod and Kumar. I seen, <laughs> hey, I seen the new Elvis movie, and there was oh, a scene yeah? in there that yeah, I just I, it was hilarious to me. He goes into I'm talking about Elvis goes into Richard Nixon's office at the White House, and they brief him before he goes in, and they told him, well, there's going to be M M&M, and M's on the table don't eat them and there's a dr pepper on the table don't drink that that's for the president uh-huh. and you're only allowed to sit down when he tells you to sit down and you'll sit in front of the oval office desk and he walked elvis walks in and nixon says oh isn't this a, a wonderful home and he goes my house is a little bit bigger than this but all right <laughs> and he's, I yeah. he walks you it at home like- you can rent it on uh, YouTube oh, right now, but he walks. Elvis walks straight to the uh, table where the M and M's are, uh-huh. and he sits down on the couch and starts eating M and M's. And Richard Nixon has this look like, "What the hell are you doing?" And then he opens his Dr Pepper and starts drinking it. It was hilarious. Uh-huh. He did. He's everything. like, "Hey, you can't tell me what to do. I'm the king." Yeah, he did everything they told him not to do. Yeah, it was hilarious. He's like, "I'm the king, man. I'm the king." Oh, you yeah, you ever seen that movie, uh, Walk Hard, the Dewey Cox story? I haven't I seen like it, that one. I've heard I really it. Like Walk that hard, movie. hard down the lives, rocky road, walk bold, hard. That's one of my favorite movies. If you guys, yeah, seen dude, it, it's like it making really fun is. of like the Doors, the Beatles, the fucking yeah. Elvis, and fucking like everybody, man. Like they're not holding no back, no punches. Like doctor, he needs more blankets and less blankets. You know, no, yeah. I, haven't I haven't seen this shit, so I'm a little jealous right now. I'm a little envious. Oh, you, okay, you well, look it. for it. You should yeah, walk hard. Down. It's worth I'm the, kidding. Ah, <laughs> oh, like guilty as charged. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that one. That one's fucking funny. Like you're never gonna make it, Dewey. You're never gonna make it. Like I told you, I can't build your house on the candy. You you can't if it never rains. <laughs> You know, my favorite part is every time he opens the bathroom door, you know, through the years, they're always doing something different. Oh, Dewey. Oh, yeah. Get this. out of here, Dewey. You don't want no part of this shit. You didn't hear me? I said it gives you a boner. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't want no part of that shit. <laughs> it's that. I gotta see it. Yeah, it's at the <laughs> end. It's at the very, very end. Spoiler alert. Like, because the guy, he always gets up like, and he never once paid for drugs. Yeah. Not once. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm gonna That's go fucking great. see if I have it on Hulu or Netflix or not because I want to now. I feel like watching that movie. I know I'm gonna watch it tonight too because I gotta remember where it's at though. It's on one of them. Get out of here, Dewey. What? We're smoking reefer. You can't smell it. No, James, I can't. Oh, you gonna smell blind, son? The wrong kid that. died. I yes. <laughs> <laughs> All hey, uh, fucked up. <laughs> the wrong the kid li- died. <laughs> one of the listeners are asking, "What? Well, what was it called again?" Walk hard, the Dewey Cox oh, story. Yeah, walk hard. Walk hard. hard. Okay. I'm the Dewey that. Cox story, like Dewey, like Mountain Dew. So Dewey, so oh, D W E Y Cox C O X story. Oh, okay. I'm so walk it. hard, Dewey <laughs> Cox story. It's it's with the guy from uh, Step Brothers, Will yeah. Ferrell. Oh, yeah. so it's it's got to be funny if he's in it. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! Wow! Like, can I get a oh yeah? Oh yeah! Oh, that's... You know what? Where the fuck did you, did you get that from? Who I think you did? Uh, my TTs, yes, TikTok. No, we got it from some other uh, some other uh, guy that gets on here. Started that. I heard it. From, well, I heard it originally from him. I think we all did. He got on podcast. Oh yeah. Yeah, maybe that's where he got it from. Um, uh, maybe. I don't know. I, I I remember the one uh, uh like uh we're here living in the valley, the Rio Grande Valley. Like uh someone just started like a little YouTube channel, and they were like put like some like you know some like gangster kind of like uh, Mexican music, and they're like put a nine five six like that means like pure nine five six and then by L L A L V so a la verga that means like. You know, that means like all my dick all of, or all the dick, like <laughs> a la verga. Like when something bad happens, like you get hit by a car, a la verga, way. Like with all my dick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a la verga. So like put on 956 a la verga because. <laughs> oh, I see. I know. I know. You, could, you could go on YouTube and you'll find a bunch of videos where like, or you could use the hashtag and you'll find a bunch of videos like. Put a 956 a la verga, cuz. Put a 956 a la verga, cuz. <laughs> 
Dude, there's one time I saw like these two guys holding like three fridges and a fucking bed and a mattress and a TV like in the back of a truck and they're just standing there with like, you know, in the back of the truck with it like and they're not even like inside the truck bed. They're like on the outside like leaning on top of the things like. And I, I took a I took a video and I was like, put a nine by six on the bed, cut. Like a man. <laughs> yeah, like we don't got no bungee cords. We use each other as rope. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I laughed when I saw that dude. I was like, dude, I have to make a TikTok. So I got my phone real quick and started recording them. <laughs> and they're in the back of one of them waved. <laughs> That's funny. You should put that shit on YouTube. I, well, I put it on TikTok, but yeah, I can put it on YouTube. I just got to get the video and oh. and transfer it. Yeah, my TikTok is, uh, if you want to look me up so you can see how Mexican I actually do look. Yeah, are you, <laughs> you sound like you're... Uh, it's... Uh, uh, right down my TikTok, uh, uh, it's wreaking havoc, kind of like you're saying, real king, but like R E A K I N G, so wreaking, then H A V O K, H A V O K, so R E 22, okay, so R E A K I N G, H A V O K, 22, wreaking havoc, 22, yes, and my hashtag is stay unique and weird, all one word. What and that it? one, I got like at least like 309 <laughs> or 609,000 fucking follows on the, the hashtag, and then on my followers, I got like 6. 6.4 followers, like wow. thousands. So you're a pretty popular fucking guy. I'm a character, and believe me, and on on my channel, I, I have different masks and different like LED masks, and like I used to work at a haunted house. No clue. So, nice. Yeah, I, uh, there's a place down here where I live from that was very very like it was number ranked number five like in the most uh, best haunted houses like in the U.S. And I worked there for three uh, well four years. And uh, yeah, that's where I got the idea for the body bags. Cause like, I was like, oh, what? You don't want to be one of my trophies? Why not? <laughs> oh, come on. You be one of my trophies, me and my body bag. Me and my body bag, come on. Where's the body bag? One size fits all. <laughs> oh, wow. You're fucking dumb. Yeah. That's funny, though. That's yes. Funny. And then I'll be like, like, when they'll be like, hearing me like, I'll be like, I'll see them come into my room and I'll be like, did you hear that pig? They'll be like, what the fuck? Who the fuck said that? I'm like, did you hear the pig? Where's my pig? And they'll be like. Wah, 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 wah. Oh my God. You're, you're a clown. <laughs> yeah. Nah, 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 nah. You got to Huh? Uh, I think he's entertaining. I like him. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, I'm an entertainer. Yeah, I'm a comedian entertainer. Yeah. No, I, you know, really, I, really I just like do. to have yeah. fun. Yeah, well, when you get your uh, All us clowns just like to have fun. Oh, yeah, we like to have fun. <laughs> it was really nice meeting you, Inspire. Thank you, thank you. I inspire to inspire. I inspire to inspire. Nice. Yes, and now this house is on fire, yeah, so I gotta go get the water hose. Yeah, gotta go get the mangera. <laughs> <laughs> Dumb. Yeah, I can be at times, That's or all the time. Yeah, I've gotten I've gotten in fights about like me not being too serious. Like they're like, "Hey, you need to just shut the fuck up for once and fucking like take this seriously." I was like, "I can't do." That's how I cope with shit. Yeah, yeah. I was like, "Hey," I was like. They'll tell me something serious. I'll like, yeah, no shit. And I'll be like, said the urinal. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I was like, it's okay. I'll wait for the laughter. I'm not a doctor, but I do have patience. Oh, my God. Where do you get all this shit from? you online? No, in my head. <laughs> that last That's pretty one cool. Did? Yeah, like, I'm not a doctor, but I do have patience. That one's mine. You're fucking funny, stupid. <laughs> I'm funny, stupid, and I'm stupid funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, I don't... Uh, hey, Dirk, are you there? Dirk, Dirk, yes. Dirk? Yes. Dirk, when are we having another show? Uh, Maybe tomorrow night, midnight. I've only said that so maybe he wants to join us, because he's actually really... Yeah. Midnight, 
Midnight Pacific time. Yeah, well, I'm a uh, Eastern time, so yeah, it should be. It's, mine would be eleven o'clock, I think, here in Texas. So Did y'all be twelve, I'll be up? eleven. Get your bitch ass up and come join us tomorrow, mañana, por favor. You know, mañana, a... Simon Limon, ¿me entiendes, Mendes? <laughs> claro que sí. We had a caller from Texas. I think I have it somewhere in here. Uh, I don't know if I'll find it in time. I was like, well, I'm in the part of Texas. I call it Hell's Waiter Room it's, or Texas Butthole, whatever you want to call Where's it. Where's that at? What's, what's the... <laughs> yeah, it's right here by South Padre Island where Girls Gone Wild came and fucking wrecked up the island. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, South Padre Island. I don't know where the fuck that's at. It's at the very, very bottom of Texas. That's why I say the butthole of Texas oh, or Hell's Waiting Room. Okay. <laughs> you know what? I've been seeing a lot of TikToks with a lot of fine ass uh, white country dudes out in Texas. I was actually thinking about moving oh. out there. Oh, why? It's like, uh, how's it going? I don't know. This Not old man and me oh. were at the bar and we were having us some <laughs> bears <laughs> and. Swap and I don't care. There we go. Talking politics and blood and blue haired chicks. <laughs> and have as we ain't kicked yet. <laughs> hey, tell me if you know this uh, lady. This was a lady who called us a while back. She's from Texas. I mean, I'm Team Blowjob, but well, y'all are, are y'all are team fun. Blowjob. Hey, where are you from, by the way? Uh, Texas, East oh, Texas. Nice. East Texas? Oh, from like so El Paso or New Mexico, somewhere around there? Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. Y'all know I've sucked a wink. Or Laredo or... Do it again. Ooh, pinche Laredo. It's like, I'm a real Obama. Welcome, everybody, to this week's episode. We really appreciate you joining us. This podcast really shows us how we can all learn, live, and thrive off of each other. By sharing our knowledge through our conversations, we will impart some knowledge whilst learning ourselves how to progress even further. Here is your host. Welcome, Welcome to our school's podcast. Here we're going to show you how teachers, parents, and pupils can share advice, tips, and know-how <laughs> to bring the best out of all of us. I was like, what the hell's going on right now? <laughs> through our series of interviews, we can all learn more and achieve even greater things. Here is this week's host. I was like, that got me dumbfounded, and I'm usually found pretty I've dumb. <laughs> I've sucked a winky before. I can do it again. Well, Sorry, yeah. I was trying to push the button off. Okay. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, that's not how you say it. You say. <laughs> 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 that makes me want to watch Cheech and Chong now. Play Summertime Blues. What's happening, my friend? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Well, come join us here tomorrow night, all right? Yeah, midnight, which will be 11 my time, so. Come on over. Come join yeah, us. Be fun. I'll come all over, whatever anybody wants me to, but, you know, no <laughs> homo. Well, Dirk's a bit of <laughs> Dirk likes Mexicans, and yeah. he, you know, hey, If I don't remember, it didn't happen. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but then that's not counted as a full point because then you you don't remember. Oh, uh, no, point. yeah. Like, I, I could barely even find my point sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you, oh, yo, 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 yo. Hey, have you ever, have you ever like, got, like, shit-faced and then fuck somebody and then later on that next day you start to remember what you fucking did and you're like, oh, shit, I did. Oh, uh, dude, I got married one time. No. <laughs> I got married. I got married from a guy, uh, not a guy. I was about to say a guy. What the hell? Uh, uh, <laughs> I got married. I got married from a, a girl that I randomly met at the bar, and we went to my friend's after party. And then, like, she was like, I didn't. This was before I actually knew how to like talk Spanish. And like, she was talking to me, and then she was being all upon me. And then, like, only when I got drunk, I I understood Spanish. I could speak Spanish, but like back, like now, I could talk it sober. But no, then like we said, we're going to get married and we went and got married and whatever. And we slept and like she stayed the night a couple nights. And then I'm just like, uh, oh, yeah. uh, cuando vas a ir? And she's like, well, no, estás mi esposo. 
I was like, no, oh, no, I don't know. Right. Right. This was just a couple, couple of night stands. That's it. That's <laughs> all. And she's like, no, but and then she like stormed out all mad and got like her little bit of clothes that she had and like slammed yeah. the door and shit. And I was like, all right. I was like, bye. That's <laughs> fucked up. I probably would have just took off and like disappeared. I don't think I would have been able to face, unless she was an ugly bitch. No, no, no. She was actually good looking, like, but like, it's just she didn't know English and everybody that was talking English and only some of them knew well, Spanish, you, but. You could have fucking taught her. I mean, shit. Yeah, no, I could have, I could have generalized her. <laughs> <laughs> You're fucked up. Yeah, I know. You're such a guy. <laughs> yes, I know. I get a check for it. <laughs> I'm not all there in the head. I'm bipolar, but not that kind of bi. Yeah, I'm bilingual, I'm like, Leroy. Hey, There's a difference. I don't, I don't blend too well bipolar, so bye. Bye. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio. You're a Scorpio? Yeah. I was, I'm a November baby, so accidents happen because I wasn't planned. I, I don't think I've ever, uh, I don't think I've ever associated with the Scorpio. Oh, this is the first time for everything. I got pop your Scorpio cherry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can, you're, you know what? Fucking stupid. Fucking yes, I know. I know. That's the name of my ex-girlfriend. Stupid. I was fucking <laughs> stupid. Girl, you don't hear Pusa. Shut the fuck up, stupid. It's stupid. I'm stupid. Yeah, I'm stupid because I'm different and I'm different and I'm stupid. Hey, tu es stupid. I know. Hey, you're so stupid. That's a fucking sorry I think I've ever heard. I'm different. Yeah, I'm different. <laughs> it's stupid, dude. It's stupid. I do have to have been high on some really bad shit to make that up. But hey, no, it was good shit. Thing. Believe me. Yeah, for like uh, you're 14. Oh no, I was 14 when I started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, I, dude, I I taught myself how to rhyme. Like I'd actually have a journal that just like I would randomly start with one word and do as many words as I could to rhyme with that word, and then jump to a different word and do the same oh thing. God. Yeah, like so, like that's what back when Eight Mile came out, like when I was that young. And then, like, I now that helped me out later on after learning guitar and drums and piano, whatever. Now I could write lyrics real quick. Wow. Like, I could just like make parodies and whatever, like, off of songs. I know, I know one word that you can't rhyme. What is it? <laughs> Jacking <laughs> off. Jacking off is a hard word to rhyme. Whack it Whack off. off. Smack it off. <laughs> no, uh, Hazel Hoff. Uh, what about the word foreskin? Uh, for show. Now, foreskin, uh, for sin, uh, mannequin. Uh, wow. Um, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, we had a caller that t t told us about foreskin. It's interesting. So, mannequin. Yeah, mannequin, uh, Luke Skywalker, and have you uh, ever the had Vatican. A... The Vatican. Ah. Yeah. Have you ever had a uh, foreskin incident in a sexual um, yeah, good question. yeah, it got caught in her braces. You're fucking lying see... ass. You heard that on a fucking show, bitch. No, no. no, no. That, that was in a report to, I, I read today, too, that that happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and sometimes, like, a girl sneezes because your pubes make their nose itch, and they sneeze, and they actually can, like, possibly bite your shit off. Yeah, because I was watching uh, Rescue, not Rescue 911, but that other one that they had. By the, my, the sex image to the ER? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And, well, the fire department showed up, and this woman, uh, she she was blowing this guy. Late and he got hours. stuck on his cock ring? <laughs> no, no, uh, her braces got stuck in his pubes. Ooh, and, and then she couldn't the, breathe. And the, <laughs> yeah, and the dick was still stuck in her throat. And it was, well, yeah, all they had to do was just pull out the hairs, oh, or like just pull hair. her back, pull her by the hair. <laughs> that's hair. Ew, that's yeah. So the fire department had to, uh, you know, boots. take some shavers and kind of shave the hair off, and then. And you know what actually happened to me? You know, like a little TMI. Like uh, I actually, I have a scar on my, you know, my manhood. That like you ever seen the movie uh, Something About Mary? Yeah. Yes, I did. You know that part of the zipper at the prom? Yep. Oh. Yeah, that happened to me and it got mm. stuck and I had to straight up just fucking <gasps> uh, yeah, rip it off and fucking it left me a scar. The only time that's ever happened to me it, was it, it at least gave me 
it, at least kind of gave me like a little advantage because now it just feels like a stud because <laughs> it's just the callus. <laughs> that happened to me one time when I was a teenager. I was jacking off and my mom opened the door and he just, you know, oh yeah yeah scarred it pretty good yeah yeah dude like i did it real quick like i just took took a real quick piss and i just zipped it up real quick without thinking and i just felt it I was like oh that's why God. trish if you have boys you need to knock before you enter that room just throw them out yeah like don't bother me when i'm cleaning my room yeah they're whacking off them dewey <laughs> Yeah. Doofy, <laughs> doofy, yeah, doofy. <laughs> it's like He's got the you know what the smell of that is when you become a man. My here, ass. smell my fingers. What's that? My ass. <laughs> <laughs> doofy, 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 smell this. What is that? That's a smell of when you become a man. Okay, here, smell, smell my fingers. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck is that? My ass. <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't show him. It doesn't show him like wiping his butt. Like, so like, how long did he have that finger ass smell on him? Did he like? Oh, right. uh, yeah. Seen that a long time. But that is a good one. Yeah. Scary movie with fucking yeah. David Arquette and Courtney Cox. Oh, and, that's a good one. Right. I, I like, I like the first one and the second one cracks me up. Yeah, I dude. Mean, hey, you, you actually know the Williams brothers actually got ripped off from uh, Warner brothers about that movie. Like no. the series. That's why they became all shitty after the oh, first two. Why? Right, Cause they used, uh, they used uh, lines from it. From yeah. And like they, they, they stole like, it had to do something with the legal agreement and they fucking stole it from them. That's why all of them just became stupider and stupider and just fucking like just way too stupid because they couldn't do what the Wayland's brother was doing, like the way they would like orchestrate it. And then yeah, dude, they got cut out all of all of the other proceeds from all the other movies. The only part one and part two are theirs. Wow. That's yeah, that sucks, man. Like that's why you need to have lawyers <laughs> present. That's why you don't sign nothing or accept all the terms unless you read the fine print like all these yeah. people that download apps and download programs on their laptop or whatever and just put accept all like shit you could have literally just signed your soul away it could literally actually say that in all the whole big old 10 page fucking thing right. that like you, if, if ever agreed upon like you would have to like take it up the anus or something like that like oh, yeah, i was like if you want to be famous we're gonna have to put it in your anus Hey, anybody ever heard of Chingo Bling? Yes. No. Oh, uh, Chingo Bling. Oh, uh, Rusty's boot in a Swiss town. Yeah. Don't know. speak English. What did he say? So fresh, <laughs> so clean, like a cumbia king. Ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my hey, God. Hey, you know what? Uh, AB Quintanilla's favorite. Uh, uh, you know what AB is? Oh, these are my welcome to my house, man. There we go. Yeah, I know I that. Who, I know that I song. Played that, but that's a good song. Yeah, welcome to my house, and then the girl was like, "Welcome to my blouse." Mm. This is my life. Wow. Yeah, and then no, no, like, you know what? AB Quintanilla's. Uh, ah, damn it! I had the Joe Go that I made up. I was like, "What does AB Quintanilla like on his spaghetti?" Sus. 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 Wow. To all the yeah. new listeners out there, we're talking about uh, sucking dick. If you want to call. Oh it. wait, well, that's good. Quickly, I I did not agree to these terms. I did not sign no legal agreement. Well, I got the email right now, son. So we're gonna go ahead. And talk. Oh, you got the Gmail. About the, you about, got the Gmail. I got your I got your signature on it. Your you dignature. <laughs> yep. It's stationary with the dictionary. Dictionary. <laughs> Oh, look, look, here, here's one of my rhymes. Here's one of my personal rhymes that I, I wrote. And, like, I've had it for a while, and I need to, like, go ahead and start using Fruity Loops to make a beat to it. <laughs> but you'll find the tempo when I'm singing it. I don't got much, but I got enough to live. I ain't living no big life. It is what it is. Taking it day by day and just see where I go. If I'm heading to the big time, God only knows. Going hard, going strong, going to go all the way. If I'm going to make it there, I'll take it day by day. I'm not going to bullshit. I'm not going to lie. If I'm aiming towards the clouds, I'm aiming past the sky. I'm not going to say I'm good or say I'm the best. I'm just another vato getting some shit off my chest. Woo! 
Yay. Like, Get home at. You, you notice I didn't say anything about I had a good car, that I had chains, that I had money. Nope. I didn't say none of that. You don't need to fucking do all that for rapping. Right. It's kind of like country music. If you play the country music hey, backwards, you get your house Yeah, the, the sun, the, the sun. You yeah, they all come back. back. <laughs> yep. I already got you to it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> like, they all come back. Yep, that's awesome. So, <laughs> and they'll never let go, Jack. Never let go. I love that movie. And what sucks is she lied on that boy. Yeah, yeah, like, dude, like, come on. They've been proven like, like facts that she she could have she could have fucking. You know. Yeah, she never jumped, bitch. Right. And then, <laughs> then she's like, "I'll never let go, Jack, ever." And what? And she, she let go. go. She let go. Dude, there was enough room for her fat ass to scoot over yeah. a little bit and then even out the way. It's I been agree. proven. If it's been proven. Just, yep. If she would have just moved her fat ass, I totally agree with you. He would have lived. I was a little kid. They told me I could be whatever I want to be. Football. Damn. Rest in peace, Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were now he's, kid, now he's stuck in Inception. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna no shirt. Watch out. Limp oh biscuit. damn! You, who's got a limp biscuit? Mm. I'm looking at your at your TikTok videos. You're sitting here with no shirt on, trying to be all sexy and stuff. Oh yeah, hey, but I'm I, I'm I'm cut a little bit. Yeah, you know for yeah, hey, hey, hey. you look like I look like a young I look like a young SPM. You South look like, Park, you, you look like you're 18, trying to be 19. Oh no, I'm I'm in my dirty 30s. <laughs> what 32? Oh, okay. 31? You're so young. 31. Yep. I'm the dirty oh, one. Really? That means if you were on our show, you'd be the youngest one. Oh, well, I'll be the youngest one if my only name is Juan. Yeah. But my name's not Juan. <laughs> <laughs> you know your name is Juan. Uh, well, I got an uncle named Juan. Is that, does that count? No. <laughs> hey, tío, tío Juan, ven para acá. ¿Tienes un, ¿Quieres un cerveza? ¿Tienes uno? <laughs> oh, man. You're going to have to teach me more Spanish. Vironga means like beer. Mofle means like 25 ounce. Like mofle, like a, give me a 25 ounce. Gotta be a un mofle, like give me a 25 ounce. Oh. Yeah, then Vironga, then like, well, fiesta, everybody knows that one. Like, or siesta means like when you're just drunk and just sleeping. So, oh, uh, yeah, este way, pino, puto siesta. Oh. Again, la esquina, like he's just there taking a nap in the corner because he got all drunk. What is, what is, what is, I know that her, I've heard it plenty of times. What does esquina mean again? Uh, try me esquina, like get my back. Okay. Like, hey, tira me un esquina. Like, in other words, I'm gonna be focusing on one thing, like get my back. Like, you know, like protect my back. Like, see, gotta miss me esquina, stuff. Don't stop that stuff in way. Like, if we got my back, everything's good, brother. Mm. Okay, wow. Um, Matt just texted me, or Dirk just texted me. I apologize. He wants to know if we can call, if you join our show, can we call you Sancho? Yeah, or, hey. or, or San, I say Sancho because it's kind of like, you know, it's a horrible way to say Sancho, but we say Sancho, or should we just be like Sancho? I'll be, I'll be like, uh, uh, how about y'all call me Buenos Sanchos? Buenos Sanchos. Can you say that, Dirk? Say it, Dirk. Buenos Sanchos. Dirk, Dirk, Dirk. Okay. So what is the difference between Sancho and Buenos Sancho? Buenos Sanchos means like good Sanchos, like oh. multiple. And Sancho means one, so that's singular. Oh, and well, then okay. uh, Sancho's, it can also rhyme with like nachos. Oh, okay, cool. Like bueno nachos. Sancho. Like Sancho nachos. Nacho yeah. Sancho. Bueno or, San uh, nachos. <laughs> macho, macho Sancho. That sounds like a good nickname. Macho Sancho. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> like macho means like strong. Like, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. So it's like muy macho, muy machin. Oh, kind of like, like strong like Trish. Like, that. okay, I get it. I get it now. <laughs> yeah, so Macho oh, Sancho. Ha, ha. Very, very funny, funny, funny. <laughs> very, very, very funny, my friend. Very, very, very funny. What's funny. happening? I think I, I think I hit follow on your... Uh, oh, on I did your, too. On your TikTok. Let me see. You got to go see it. Make sure... Wait, and go back. Yeah, and you see me all flexy with my glasses and my bald head before I grow up a mohawk. <laughs> oh, yeah. I see. I hit you a... A follow. I'm a light bright moon. Light bright moon. Ooh. Yes. When the sun goes down on, on my, my side, side of town. town. A lonesome yes. feeling. Come on, guys. Feeling around. 
on the neon moon. Does she look so bright? With yellow eyes upon the neon moon. <laughs> spread your legs. What do you say? Spread your legs? In the neon. Oh, damn. <laughs> eh, no, no se oye, pero compone. When no, you that means spread your to use legs. A condom. You, you know what that means? No se oye, pero compone. What does that mean? That means like you didn't hear it, but you put it together yourself in your head. Like no se oye, pero compone. So like when you like you heard spread your legs, but that's not what he said. But like oh, <laughs> you didn't hear him, but you put it together in your head and it came okay. out like that. Okay. <laughs> Trish, Trish, it. It's it just something for? you're used to hearing. <laughs> oh, shut the, you know what? I can't. Oh, you know what? I'm just joking. Fuck you. Fuck you in the asshole. Fuck you, my friend. Fuck you. Oh, eat a, eat a dick. Me scusi, me scusi, me scusi. There we go. Oh, and a bag of dicks. Oh, yeah. Hey, you can order him a bag of dicks if you get his address. Shoot. <laughs> they have the little gummy, so it's like literally a bag of dicks. Big fat, big fat, uh, big fat you, dicks. You know, Speaking oh no, that's that's the Tyrone special uh, you right know, there. You gotta wait till you gotta wait for Black Friday for that one. No, that's, <laughs> that's not true because some Mexicans have bigger wings than fucking black dudes, so that's false. That's false information. I know, I know, I know. Believe me, I got my chorizo. You probably have a little, you know, have a little four inch or chorizo that that always stays half erect. Hey, no, I'm I'm very humble. I'm like you know at least seven. On a good day. <laughs> <laughs> on a good day, on a very good day, if I take the blue pill, I'm like nine. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, you're like, if I take That's the blue it? pill, I'll be five and a half inches. Not three. Yeah, even if I just take half, I'm a good seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'll, be, I'll, I'll bust you one, one nut and a half. And then I'll be Oh, through. shit. Well, then, hey, then you then better I'll, call me a chipmunk or a squirrel because I'm just trying to get I'll, a nut. And then after, like, I'll bang you with the floppy after. <laughs> uh, yeah, the floppy, like you like force it in there and it's bending. <laughs> you ever had a chick want to bang you Dirk with the floppy? Dirk knows all about that. <laughs> that what? Have you ever had a girl, like you're, you're fucking her real good and you nut, you nut, you nut, whatever. And then she's like, no, still fuck me. And you're like, fuck, I already busted a nut. My dick's going right. down. But it's a so little. Like you, use your, you, you like hold your dick and you put use your finger so like at least starts the process. Yeah, yeah, and then you're so you're just banging her with the well, floppy. And well, you know what, just, Trish, You know count. what Dirk does, right? Dirk, <laughs> when a woman tells him that, he just he opens his top drawer, he puts on this strap on real quick, and he. Why does he have a strap on? <laughs> you know, that way, when he runs out of you know steam, you know. Quit lying about me. <laughs> oh damn! We got a we got a silent soldier now, in the background. Dirk, he's, a, he's a hidden gem. He doesn't like to speak because then everybody yeah. likes him. He's even had guys want to be with him that were straight. So, you know, he's a pretty. Uh, he doesn't even like to put up his picture because you know he's a pretty good looking guy too. So if you were to see me, probably like he touch looks. Him. He looks like Ryan Reynolds, but a little different. Mm, with, but with uh, he looks like Donald Trump to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucked up. Yeah, look at his picture, wait. I know. I was, I was, I was like, what the fuck? The fuck does he have that? <laughs> I was like, I look like I said, I look like a young South Park Mexican before he went to jail. No, you fucking don't. You look like you're from right over the border. Like you, you, you were probably born. Hey, right the fucking border. Hey, I was skinnier ah. back then because that means I was able to climb the wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, your mom's from He's like, Mijo, how do you say go? Uh, I'm gonna throw you over. She fucking. Threw you're you not a an otro lado. What is al otro lado? Al otro al otro lado. That means otro like on lao. the other side. Otro lado. I need to fucking remember. Why can't I remember? Uh, download the app Boggle. I I've used that just to help me. Just to like, I already know a good amount of Spanish, but download Boggle. Uh, like it's you. free, and it, it, you can learn Russian, German, you know, Spanish, uh, Italian, French. And it gives you like little lessons and you build up to like get to like actually speak full sentences. What is it called? Boggle, B-O-G-G-L-E or Boggle or Double. Hold on, let me double check. Uh, let me see. I think I found something. It's loading. Uh, it's like boggle. a green, it's like a green little app icon. No, this shit like says Boggle words with friends. Word no, no, no. Doggo. Try Doggo. Like D-O-G-G-L-E. Nada. Wait, hold on. Word Swift, play, doggle. That's a game. 
Okay, Doggo, Boggo, no. Do you, are you for, uh, <clears throat> are you Apple or are you sucky Android? Uh, yeah, I sucky the Android. Uh-oh, uh -oh, I think that's our game. Well, hey, come in, uh, join us tomorrow, and I'll check your videos out on, uh, TikTok. Oh, it's called Babel, Babel, Babel. Babel, okay, okay, okay. B-A-B-B-E-L-S, Babbles. Shit, I lost it. B-A-B-B-L-E-S. Alrighty. All right, gotcha. uh, that, that is our cue. Hey, thank Yeehaw. you so much for joining, and we hope to see you tomorrow. Yes. Also, Trish, it's good to have you back. Yes, awesome. I'm glad to be back, you guys. Yes. Well, well I'm glad fun. to meet y'all, so have fun. Have yeah, fun. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, we'll do, we'll do. We'll Hasta do. la What's mañana. Sure? Thank you, Dirk. Pasa la huevo, vaya con Dios. Cuídate, güey. Bye, Dirk. Bye, I'm Max. Dirk, hello. Bye, Dirk. We all said bye to you. Tomorrow, okay, you guys? Bye, Dirk. Dirk?